request for time. I don't want to burn up whatever time is left. That's good. Thank you, thank you. Uh, I always pray to, when it comes to sports, get something in the kid's mind that sports has a role in your life. I'm passionate about it because it was important to me. I got nine brothers and sisters. I would have never made it to college if it was not. I was able to play football well. And that gave me an opportunity to go to the next level, to college then to graduate school from that. I'm not saying that it's everybody's way because it's not everybody's way. But if it's your way, you use it to the best of your ability. It might be somebody's way to be an artist, it might be somebody's way to be a dancer, singer, whatever it is. The point I'm making is all you kids have been given something by God. No one has everything, but everybody has something. Find it and develop it to help you in your life. I wish I could take all the credit for sports at, at Melody on Delano County, but I can't because I can't do everything. So I always got to give recognition to people that may be here, that may be at the school still, that help me. Like Miss Kimbrough with the volleyball, we have Miss Botella with the basketball, along with Miss Shirley, uh, we have Miss Tyler with cheerleaders, all that came together to accomplish one purpose. What I want to do now, I want to announce some kids. One thing that's spectacular about sports that people don't give it credit for, it's excellent on breaking down barriers. When these two schools came together, like I said before, by the kids, I didn't know what to expect either. I did 21 years at the other school. By the grace of God, if he can give me eight or ten more, then I'm going to hang up my boots. But I'm getting old right now, so I'm kind of slowing down. <laughs> but those barriers can be broke down when you play sports. Them kids came together, never had one problem. Never heard of Delano Melody, this, that, this, that. I just seen kids come together and drop things and say, let's go have some fun. And I think they need to be applauded for that. Okay, I always start with the girls because I believe for our gentlemen, we gotta understand. Showing the uh, chivalry is not dead. That means it's time to be a gentleman. You know, we men gotta set examples for you guys how to treat ladies. That's why I always say ladies first. Open up the door for the ladies. You know, do those nice things. You guys are gonna go on prom down the road. You got to get in them cars. Don't get in the car and look across the window and tell the girl, it's open. You know? Get your behind out and open up and let her sit down first. Then close the door. You know, that's what I'm talking about. When I say shiver is not dead. Okay, so it's the ladies first. Uh, Mr. Botello had my basketball team. Ms. Kimbrough and Ms. Shirley had the girls' volleyball team, but my hands is always somewhere around. Because nobody sees the kids firsthand until I see them. Because I'm the gym teacher. So I know what all the talent in school. If it's 700 kids in school, I know the ones to get. So my hands is always saying, get this one, get that one. What about this girl? What about this boy? Put them on, and they take it from there. Uh, our girls' basketball team and volleyball team did very well, especially the girls' basketball team. They came one game from winning District 5. One game. And to this day, I still think they're the best girls team I was ever affiliated with. We had tall girls, we had girls that can shoot, we had girls that can dribble. I mean, by the rules, we're not running around and chasing, slapping people. These girls played like the guys, and I was impressed. So I'm going to call these girls, when you please hear your name, come up and receive your award. Some I've known for a long time, some I just met this year. But to me, it seems like I've been around them all this time. I'm just as comfortable with somebody I've seen just in eighth grade as someone I met when he was in second grade. And we got a mixture of both. So I will ask this individual to come to the stage. This one of the second graders I had, way yeah. back at the other school. Let's put it together for Tasmia Brad. Good, I told her she had a heart of a lion. I
took her through out of there on track and field and barely had one or two practices and put her in one of the hardest races you can do. It's called the 400 meter dash. That means you go around that whole track one time and you got to know how to pace yourself or you'll burn out soon you say go. <laughs> this girl was hauling and when she got back, I hugged up and I said, girl, I wish I would have had you in sixth grade because you got the heart of a mind. This girl also participated in volleyball. Let's put your hands together. She's been up a thousand times. The one and only, Adasa Wiley. This young lady I just met this year, I told a girl, you tall. She said, girl, you go top your height. <laughs> that tall. And you a girl, you about to whoop me up. She walked away smiling. But she cool. Nice looking girl. She a big old girl. Only boy better open up your eyes and learn what I talk about when I said chivalry is not dead. <laughs> Stop practicing. <laughs> she played volleyball. Let's put your hands together for Amorye Terry. This one of my twin towers. I walked down the hall, I walked past her, and I said, the tallest girl in the world. She laughed at me, and she is. I'm looking up to her. So I seen her from a shorty shorty to where she is now. She don't play two sports at our particular schools. Let's put your hands together for the one and only. She played basketball and volleyball. Sierra Beasley. I call this girl the toughest girl in the world. <laughs> she don't understand why I call her. They tell her walk down the hall. Toughest girl in the world. And I seen her, how somebody looked like you, take a big old girl and slap her to the court like it was enough. That's why I call her the toughest girl in the world. Now she know. I'm a breed to the stage. She played basketball and volleyball. P. Era. <laughs> Here come another one of my twin towers. I had her at the old school. I gotta look up to her too, and I'm really looking up to her. She's one of the original twin towers. Put your hands together for a girl that played basketball and volleyball, Capri Hart. <laughs> Last but certainly not least, this one begged me to death. They wouldn't take on basketball. Wouldn't take on this, wouldn't take on that. I said, okay, I'm going to give you a chance to run. You're going to bring your behind out here. Don't run out of gas and don't stop running. She went in that 100-yard dive. She never stopped running. Put your hands together for Rose Stewart. Moving her on, because I got to get up from up here. I see somebody tap me on my shoulder. Let's move over to the boys. And I'm going to go down real quick. 